Day 29. The amount of work that I've had to put in to kind of just stay accountable for 30 days, even if it's just 30 days, has been incredibly eye-opening. Um, I got a greater appreciation for what you know, professional golfers or even just professionals that commit themselves to something, a longer term goal. I've got a way greater appreciation for that now. And, um, you know, and being where I am in my life, it's just, I felt like it was a really important thing for me to do and I don't have any regrets, man. Um, I'm incredibly kind of proud of the things that have happened, but I have a great sense of gratitude um, for all the support and the people that have commented, liked, subscribed and just followed me and helped me through my journey and even just asked, hey, how's your 30 day challenge going? Uh, because that's the type of kind of just, that's the type of encouragement that everyone needs, um, no matter if you're doing a challenge and you're documenting it or not. Just asking someone how they're going or what they're trying to achieve, how the, how is that going for them? You can be surprised what kind of impact it has on that person. So for the people that have done that, you are on YouTube, you're on Instagram, you're on TikTok, um, and I've met some awesome people as a result of it. That being said, today's another opportunity to get better. The challenge isn't done yet. I want to finish really strong. I do have a sense of kind of, my body has a little bit of fatigue, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the amount of golf I've played, the amount of balls I've hit, I, I, I counted it back. I think I've, I've hit something like almost 5,000 golf balls, uh, maybe a little bit more. It'll be interesting, maybe next time I'll actually count how many shots I hit, but I've hit at least 5,000 golf balls, which is in insane, and I've spent so many hours on this challenge. And I've got some really key kind of learnings from it. Um, I've learned so much about my golf game, my golf swing, and what's important to me. So, you know, I'm going to keep sharing that with you guys. Today is another day, another chance. Um, off to the golf studio, but before I do that, I get a gym workout in, just focusing on my upper body strength. I got a little bit of tightness in the lower back region, which is never a good thing for golfers. You guys, um, as golfers, you know how important that is, but. So I'm gonna give the lower body a little bit of a rest. All these little things are paying off. Super excited. I do have something special for day 30, but let's go. Let's go get a gym workout in. So I got a bunch of stuff to work on, especially with that controlling of my driver. Um, even the rounds of golf that I've played on YouTube, uh, what I found is that I'm putting myself in so much trouble. And no matter what I work on with my irons and stuff like that, it's just putting a lot of pressure on the rest of my game. Having to make these huge parts, having to, you know, hit these rescue shots from kind of, you know, off the fairway and behind trees and. I think it's just more about, yes, I want to get better at golf, but I also need to get smarter about my game. And a simple way for me was thinking about it by just clubbing up, hitting the easier shot, the smoother shot, and um, putting less strain on myself. So it's something that I'll take into it. I always obviously want to build a swing and a game that I can play for a long time. And, you know, if I'm having to... Um, swing at a hundred percent, hundred and ten percent every single drive that I try to hit. It's just not going to work. Back at the golf studio on Trackman session again, doing a little bit of a warm up. Um, 
to this 65 meter target just trying to keep just trying to work on something specific today which is getting a lot of height on my irons and kind of what I want to try to control the ball a little better through the air I played around a golf over the weekend and I seem to be just getting a little bit too under it so I've got the ball a little bit behind <laughs> I got the ball a little bit back in my stance just trying to kind of just guide it to the 65 meter target um, so I'm just going to warm up with this and then we'll get into today's session I've noticed that I'm getting a lot more spin as well that's a good shot get a lot more spin on the ball now um, just make a little bit of contact with it I think I had the ball a little bit too far forward um, in my stance so that one's no good you could feel that See that kind of flight? I really like that. I've been kind of launching it way too high. So I much prefer something. It's a little bit more of a knockdown or a control wedge. That's really good. Very good. Didn't get that the cleanest, but that's going to turn out pretty good. Green's in reg, man. That's all that matters. That's all that I want to see. A couple more here. It's pretty good. And the interesting thing that I never, when I get on the track, man, I never look at is the wind direction so I got a 4.6 kilometer wind so well, seven kilometer wind and it's going right to left so a little bit high see that not a bad shot but that launch is a little too high oh, we're gonna move up to a pitching wedge I got a hundred and oh, about a 90 meter shot here Probably not a pitching wedge, but I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just gonna club up and try to control a little better than I have in the past. So changing a little bit of the way, you know, not trying to hit every club super far. Just going for a little bit more control and the easier swing. get that but that's gonna be safe I think can't complain about that so ball again kind of just a little bit closer to the center than I've had it before it's gonna be all right as well it's just the important of you know it's such a simple thing right of just clubbing up everyone says it I think we just get caught up in trying to you know hit our distances but I just want to make better decisions that are gonna let me score better and clubbing up such an easy way to do it um, so it's three for three can we oh, I don't think that's gonna make it be enough be enough Oh my goodness, <laughs> that did not deserve that. Um, yeah, let's hit a few more. You see that ball flight, man? I mean, that is so much more controlled. Uh, Thank you. 
and it's given me a chance every single time. Man, these are really, really, really good shots for me. All in all, pretty solid pitching wedge. Um, one thing I noticed is, have a look at that grouping. I'm really happy with that. One thing I noticed is that my total carry distances and also my launch angle, and this is pretty elementary, but you have to do it to figure it out. But my launch and kind of how high I'm launching it and also the carry that I'm getting from my pitching wedge is way different. I'm getting more carry, more of a piercing trajectory with my ball flight, and that's what I'm going for. So let's keep working at it. All right, going to a 143 target with a seven iron here. Again, this is not, this club wouldn't be the club I would normally take. This is one more club. So I'd normally take an eight iron to something like this, but trying something a little different and taking the easier swing. Definitely going to... <laughs> that, it doesn't matter. There's no, there's no pictures on the scorecard, man, as they say. Should be middle of the green, I think. No. Are you gonna get there? Yeah, that's a better shot. Now I do have a lot more that I can put into this club, but I'm not trying to. Okay, if that doesn't get close. Yeah, it's a good swing. Probably gonna be the same. Yeah. Are you gonna be enough? Yeah, that's a good shot. That is a great shot. All right, let's move on to some big dogs. I'm not gonna try to hit this too far. I'm literally gonna try and swing with a little bit more control um, to just give myself a chance to square the club head up a little better. I just have massive problems with leaving the face open. And I think a part of that is because I rotate so hard that I bring the club over the top with me. And I wanna just, in that transition, kind of get get behind that ball a little more rather than coming over the top of it and causing this kind of swipe. It's what I've kind of always done. Um, so I'm just gripping down a little ball a little bit further back in the stand and let's see what happens here. So still a Still a little fade. My aim is to try to play a little draw, okay? That's kind of my challenge today. So whatever I need to do for that means I've got to... Okay, that's a draw. And have a look at that, 234, carries down, but better ball flight, so. It's not registering my club head speed, I don't know why. Let's try to do that again. I think that'll draw. No. I'm putting literally no effort into this or very minimal effort.
Okay, what happened there? Spin rate was up. Eh, not the best. But you see how much distance I lose by simply just not coming by coming over the top. So just really want to train that a little more. It's exit or release high and right for me as a lefty. Okay. That is an awesome ball flight. I don't care about the distance and numbers today. It's trying to just fix this. Okay, that didn't work. Felt my hand kind of go like this. That was a cricket swing. I'm just gonna take this back to a almost a half swing to there and see if I can control it. So why is that? See that? It's left face is open. So if the face is open and I'm not even swinging hard. What chance do I have if I'm actually going for it? Might be a hook. No, it's straighter. So I'm just going to keep trying some stuff. Move the ball a little bit back in my stance. Kind of on the inside of my big uh, right foot here. That might be... No. Got to exit here. I think that'll be good. Okay, a little bit right, but more or less, I gotta train that. That's kind of what I wanna to try to achieve. And I would like that um, flight to come down a little bit too, so I'll just tee it down a fraction. Felt solid. Okay. It's right. Yeah, no. It's left. Hmm. So you can see it's kind of just like quarter swings trying to make that ball. I mean, that's. That's going right every single time here. Yeah. Try and hit up and exit right. Okay. That was better. Better, but not there yet. A lot of curve. And I want to show you my groupings a little bit in here. Just going to keep going. It's a better drive. 2900, a little bit more spin. Still just trying to play that draw. So, I'm gonna drop that foot on the inside. We got a draw. Let's go. We got a draw. All right. Let's try again. Can I hit two draws in a row? So. Okay, I lost the club on that one. The answer is no. All right, let's try again. Two draws in a row. Bad. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Is that a draw? Draw. That's a draw. <laughs> the only thing I've done here is just like slowed down just a little bit. Got a little bit more control. Ah. 
we do not want a fade today. Got ourselves a draw. Let's go, man. All right. Can we get a second draw? Then that's a draw. Come on. Spin rate, curve. I think that's good. Go draw. 248, there we go. 145 ball speed. And I didn't really try to hit that one. Spin rate's a little bit low, but that's all right. Have a look at my groupings here. I miss one, two, three, four, four balls out of 31 shots. Um, without trying to swing the club too hard. I, I've just got to, I've got to realize that what I'm compromising by trying to swing it super fast is only really not going to yield me too much more distance. So stop trying to smoke it every single drive and try and swing kind of at like 80, 75, 80% and hit more fairways. Give myself a chance to score better. Pretty simple. So definitely something to take away today. I felt like I got better. I felt like I got smarter today. And that's, I think the main thing is just to take away something that you can build on. Um, today was the perfect example of working hard is important, but working smart and you know, playing smart and applying that to your game is even more important. So, um, something to take away today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Day 29 is in the books. Day 30, one more day left. You stay tuned for that. And um, don't forget, man, golf is hard. <laughs>